First of all, rare diseases need to be managed by a number of uh, special, uh, specialist doctors. For example, even lung fibrosis, which one could think is limited to the lung, ends up involving, for example, the heart as well. Therefore, what we need is, first of all, to have a multidisciplinary approach. And um, we definitely need to make people aware that these rare diseases, although rare, they do exist and they can be very difficult to be managed. What we need to do is to understand who and why he's predisposed to get this disease in order to prevent the disease if possible or to understand, to know in advance what the prognosis of the disease can be, what the course of the disease can be. That's why we need, for example, markers or whatever information we can get in order to have this information in advance. The future is uh, to have uh, markers that can predict what's going to happen in terms of outcome. So how the disease is going to behave, for example. Because in terms of treatment at the moment, what we have is a number of options, but unfortunately they're not very um, not reliable. Is that, that they do not improve much quality of life. The, the, the target at the moment should be stability in these patients because unfortunately we cannot cure them at the moment. We can treat them, we can watch them very carefully, but the target, the aim should be one day to cure these patients. And the only thing to me to do this is to prevent, first of all, to know exactly who is predisposed to the disease, who is susceptible and possibly why. That's the only way to develop better treatment.